As you mentioned, uh, we have our first exhibition coming up this Sunday. We just had our first close scrimmage um, yesterday. And I think we all learned a lot about ourselves as well as our, our staff, um, you know, just kind of figuring, getting all the kinks out. So it was a great um, run through and, um, you know, excited for um, this group to be able to play in front of fans uh, this coming Sunday. And just for folks to get a, a sneak peek of what we're uh, looking forward to showing this year and to continue to grow the program. Great. If any of our um, visitors here have questions, just leave a comment in the chat. We'll start with a question from Diane. So Marissa, after your scrimmage yesterday, is there anybody that kind of stood out for you that made an impact that you kind of didn't expect it to, somebody to have that impact? Um, there was no unexpected impact. I was just really, um, I think, you know, no one was there since it was aforementioned closed, but, uh, if you were in the building, uh, you know, Julie was just, um, phenomenal yesterday. She had, uh, 31 points. I think she had 17 and one quarter and, um, you know, shot the ball extremely well. Um, I think, um, you know, Katie coming in and trying to um, get us organized. I thought Christina coming off the bench as a freshman really um, showed some great signs of um, toughness and consistency and, and shot making for us. Um, and, you know, just all kind of coming together and have and seeing us execute. Um, I think we did some really good things. And then obviously we have things to work on, but probably the two biggest bright spots were Julie and Christina for sure. Question from John. Hey coach, how are you? Good, how are you John? Good, um, so let's talk a little bit about, about Julie. So one of the things I kind of noticed, I think last year, if you just look straight up at box scores, you know, she's had these like a remarkable bust out games and then the next game would be kind of um, not, as, not as good. So why do you think that is? And, and have, how, how does she get more consistent? What's the key to that? Um, I think, you know, for, for Julie, it's all about confidence. Well, really for all of our players, but it's about confidence. Um, I think it's also the offense that we're running. The system we're running is really kind of tailor made for, um, not just her skill set, but a lot of the kids, but I think she really, um, has, has kind of started to flourish in it because she can, uh, you know, find different shots um, within the offense that really highlight what she does well. She also um, can make plays and her teammates really trust her now after preseason and the summer to to really step up and, and make shots. And so, um, you know, something that um, I don't know if we've shared yet, but she won't be with us for the first two games because she's going to be representing um, Czech. There's a national team training camp um, and some games that she'll be attending. Um, so she leaves us November 5th um, and she comes back November 16th. So um, not ideal based off her putting up 31 yesterday. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I think it gives some um, other opportunities for some other folks to step in. And I think in those first two games, um, everybody will be a little bit, you know, kind of getting their feet on them. So hopefully, um, you know, we show up without her and then when she comes, it just kind of continues to add on and really accentuate what we're trying to do. Additional questions for Coach Mosley. Diane. Marissa, can you just talk about facing uh, Wisconsin Oshkosh this weekend in exhibition and how it kind of shows off women's basketball in the state been a great opportunity for the D3 teams. Yeah, you know, I think that when I got here, that was established, um, that something that we tried to do, obviously having um, such, a, such a plethora of other opponents that we could play. Oshkosh has had um, some uh, great teams in the past. And obviously for us this year with Brooks Ramick's sister on the team, uh, we wanted to kind of highlight and make sure we played them. So um, the two of them going together is a great, uh, going against each other is a great storyline. I know her sister's already been talking to Schmack um, on, uh, online. Um, have you guys seen, seen that TikTok? Have you been talking to Schmack about me? Sorry. Anyway, um, so uh, I think that um, that'll be 
you know, fun, obviously for her family, for her parents or whatever. But I think for us to be able to play quality opponent that first um, game and, you know, I think whether you're playing D1, D2, D3, everybody tries to put the ball in the basket and wants to win the game. So we've got to come out and respect our opponents and make sure that we uh, we're prepared. Question from John. Yeah, so at the start, you said you're really excited for this to get underway. So what are some of the two or three things that you're most excited about here at the start of the season? Yeah, one, I think, is just seeing like who we are, right? Um, kind of our identity we've talked about. We've had these pillars that we've established, and we've talked a lot about a winning mindset and a competitiveness, um, being selfless, right? And so really figuring out like really at the end of the day, or at the beginning of the day, as it were, since we're just starting, um, who, who we are. Um, I think the other part, too, is just seeing the type of execution that we can um, have and being consistent about that. I think the third thing is um, how we're going to take care of the ball. You know, we have had uh, some struggles in the past. And, you know, yesterday, um, I think we ended up turning the ball over um, more times than I'd like. I'm not going to admit how many times since it was a close scrimmage. Diane, keep your mouth shut there. Um, but um, no, I think, um, you know, ball security is so key. And we talked about if however many turnovers you have, that's another chance, however many chances you didn't even get as a shot at the basket. So our kids understanding how important that is too. But um, this is an incredible opportunity for us to start making a change right now. Um, anyone I talk to is saying how people are dying for women's basketball to, um, you know, be good. They were primed, just, you know, they're ready, all these kind of words. And so I think we just really need to step into that moment, into that light and, and uh, take it by the reins and, and go ahead and do it. Question from Adam. Yeah, coach, I'm uh, curious about the, you know, it's been a year plus since the players have had an opportunity to play in front of a crowd at the Cole Center. What's what's sort of the anticipation like in the locker room right now is, is they're building to that moment when they run out onto the tunnel, onto the court? Yeah, I think, you know, we talk about that in practice every day. Like we have no idea how many people you're going to play in front of, but we've got to be focused in. But especially for both our freshman and sophomore classes, they've never you know, played in and we have, we were pretty, you know, uh, young team. So a lot of the majority of our team has not played in front of folks. Um, and so I think that's just the excitement first came photo day when you get to put your uniform on for the first day. And then the anticipation of being able to just get out there and play a game and run up and down for four quarters. And now the next step is, is with fans. And I think for their friends and family, for people in the community to come out and really to celebrate um, you know, not only what the hard work they put in, but kind of collectively for us all to celebrate a little bit, one more step towards normalcy coming through the pandemic and, you know, feeling like we can build off of their energy, the excitement in the building, all those things.